Problems continue at a New Mexico peanut plant linked to a nationwide salmonella outbreak. The plant has been closed for weeks, and the recall of products continues to expand. The company vice president spoke with us today about how this is affecting employees and what this means for the company. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart reports. The peanut butter and peanut processing plant at Sunland in Portales remains shut down as the recall of products has been expanded. We felt it best to just stop everything at this point until we have been able to methodically go through and completely understand what the data had provided. Dozens of peanut butter brands sold at stores like Costco, Trader Joe's, Target and Sprouts have been pulled from store shelves. Now raw, roasted and salted in-shell peanuts produced in the processing facility have been recalled as well. Although Colburn admits the recall has been very costly for the company, she says no employees have been laid off. The people that worked in areas that are now shut down are helping with the cleanup process. The next step is to get the plants operational, have everything signed off on, and then the new production products will get into the marketplace. Coburn says the Food and Drug Administration has completed its investigation, but data is still being analyzed. She did confirm that inspectors found salmonella bacteria on some surfaces at the plant and said they're working to find out what type it is. The cleanup involves breaking down equipment and putting it back together. Coburn added the recall has all been voluntary and they're hopeful to get back on their feet. As you can see in here, the harvest continues. Uh, the crop looks beautiful. So uh, we are very much looking forward to the restart of operations and getting Valencia products back in the marketplace. So the business will survive then? That's the... That is the, the plan, yes. In Portales, Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE News 13. So far, 35 people in 19 states have gotten salmonella poisoning from peanut butter traced back to the Sunland plant. Sunland officials could not give a time frame on when they think they will be back up and running.